so hello everyone hope you are doing good so today in this video we will going to discuss how we can share the records to the other users so what are the different ways to share a record so here we are not talking about the objects not about the fields we are talking about the record level access okay so here the number one come is the owd so or we can say where we can set the most restrict, uh, restrictive access for the other users to access the record is the OWD or it is the baseline to start with the sharing of records. Okay, so in the OWD we have different options like private, read only, public read and write, transfer by parent and all. So if uh, for a particular object like the OWD is set as private, then the owner itself will able to see its records. None other user except the owner will not have the access to see its records. Okay. And if the record, OWD is set as the public read only, so here read only is uh, set as the access. Now the owner will obviously have the full access, but the other users will have the read access of its records, not uh, the write access. Okay, so they can only read the records, so they cannot update or modify the records. Okay, so here OWD is basically what access we can give to other user except the owner is set in this OWD. Okay, so once the most restrictive access is set, now the next term is the role hierarchies. Okay, so as you know, uh, in a, we provide the roles to our different users and these roles are set in a different hierarchy. So, which is known as the role hierarchy. So, here the users in the above hierarchy will able to see records of its below users or of its below hierarchy users here. So, this is how access is given in the role hierarchies. So now the next come is the sharing settings. So sharing settings are also of two types. One is the owner based sharing and the next is the criteria based sharing. Okay. So in the criteria based what happens if like uh, uh, example in my opportunity if the amount is greater than 10,000 in this condition I want that this record should be shared with the other users so the access can be read or read uh, and write. Okay. So this is if I want this type of con conditions to achieve then we will go with criteria based or sharing setting. So our next is the owner based uh, sharing setting. So in this owner based what happens if the owner of the record is someone to, uh, to which I want to set the visibility for the other users also. So this in, in this case we'll move to the owner based sharing setting. So if uh, like the user of this particular record is ABC then the record should be shared with other users also with read access or with read and write access. Now the next come is the manual sharing here. Okay. So the manual sharing is, as you know, on the record, we are able to see the button that is uh, to which manually we can able to give the access to the other users for this particular record. So if you guys remember in the last video, I said that uh, for this manual sharing button also, we have the condition in that particular condition only it is visible to other users uh, on a page to share records with the other users. So the condition is if the OWD of particular object or its related object is set as private or read only then only we are able to see this manual sharing button on a page okay now the next come is the apex sharing so for each and every object we have one sharing object for our objects in our salesforce okay so if i want to share the records using the apex then we will we will need to create the records in the apex, the sharing objects and we, then we will able to give the access to the users of the records so like for the account we have account share for opportunity we have opportunity share for uh, contact we have contact share so in this objects we'll create our records and these are shared with the other users according according to our criteria or whatever we set in the code okay so here one more question comes in my mind like if the owd uh, if i create a uh, custom object so by default what will be its owd so by default the owd for the custom object is always public read and write Okay. So hope you guys find video interesting and let me know uh, if you have any question do comment or you can connect with me on LinkedIn. We will meet you soon in the next video.